okay, where am I? <laughs> you might have seen there's been a pause in me recording because here's what happened. I'm actually sleeping on the couch at one of my friends. Last night, I lost my keys. Like I couldn't find my keys. They're in my car somewhere. Here's what happened. Y'all know spiritual messages are always happening to me. So I get in my car because we're supposed to go to this poetry event and I'm at my office. I'm like, where are my keys? And my car actually starts up. I actually, y'all might know this. I have a keyless entry thing. So the car won't start if the key fob is not in the car. So my car does start. So what does that tell you? The keys are in the car. I pull that thing up and down for like 20 or 30 minutes, searching every bag, put in the little flashlight under the seats over the seats back seat trunk everything under the car check all my bags my purse five and ten times the the um glove compartment the console just everywhere they are nowhere to be found so then my friend because we were supposed to go to poetry night she comes and picks me up because i can't I don't, because I don't have my keys, I can't get in my apartment, <laughs> nor could I get access. Now I could get into the office, but I couldn't really unlock or lock the office. So I'm like, what to do? So I end up leaving my car at my office and that's where I am right now. <laughs> so hopefully when we go back later on today in the morning, my keys will be there, but it's so many things happening. Because I want to tell you this, this is the Elmira message today. Pay attention to the signs and symbols. Simple things like losing your key or your house flooding from the toilet or there being a mouse infestation is just not what it seems on the surface. There is often a meaning behind that. So I'm figuring out the meaning of this. <laughs> What do you think? How beautiful is that? The sun is rising. I always love looking at the sun, the moon. These things, the birds, are just a great example of God and of transition, like how every day we, um, we're transitioning, we're growing. Yes, even in this state where I'm not at home, I lost my keys, everything, <laughs> I welcome transitions. I welcome growth. Well, I got to show y'all, this is night two of me not having my keys. I can't find my keys. I know they're in my car because I can drive and do all of that. But one of my clients was so gracious and she put me up in a hotel for the night. Um, I just want to say all of, and it's not even that I'm getting back what I gave out. It's that I'm in the mode of receiving and I'm so thankful to God. I'm so thankful for just everything because for so long I was like, Nobody is blessing me, none of that. You know how we can get down on ourselves, but I'm so grateful in this situation. Last night, couldn't find my keys. My other friend, she let me stay on her couch because I'm locked out of my house. Like, I can't get in my apartment. And I'm just great. I'm grateful. Look at this. She stocked me with everything. Like, I got clothing, scarves, stuff so I can wear, pajamas, these... This is amazing. I just, I just am so grateful. Yeah, kind of a bad situation always can turn to good.